up in the sky Who's way up flying high? Agent Fishtronaut will solve a case today Agent Fishtronaut, come along and save the day Marina and Zeke will help us find the way With all our friends, you can solve a mystery today There is a pop that holds our clues Come along, let's open it We gotta clap, we gotta stomp Come along, let's open it So you're mm -hmm. it? You forget how to play tag or what? No, uh -huh. remember? You're it. Huh? What? Aw, oh, wait a minute! <laughs> Be careful, Zeke, or you might get dizzy. Hey, hey. No, I'm okay. This world is dizzy. Make it stop spinning. <laughs> <laughs> you kids seem to be having fun. I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine, Dr. Takeshi. Pleased to meet you. This is my granddaughter, Marina. <laughs> this is Fishtronaut. And that one over there, well, that's Z. Are you going to work here in the park, Dr. Takeshi? Yes, we will have a small observatory on Green Hills. Mm. Huh? Uh, observatory? Ooh, what's that? It's a place where we look at the sky, Zeke. <laughs> That's silly. We can look at the sky from any place. That's true, Zeke. But at the observatory, we use a lens like this one. Yeah, whoa! Hey, I want to see where they're going to build this observatory. Me too. Whoa! <laughs> Wow, this observatory will be really nice. It really will. I can't wait to look at the stars every night. Look, a pop! Come on, tap along with us to open up the pop. Again, everybody, we have to open up this pop. We did it! A feather and a pillow. What could they mean? The pillow you place on the ground and lay on it. The feather you place over your mouth and do like this. I don't think that's it, Zeke. Do you know what I think? That we should ask the birds whose feather this is. Good idea. First, I'll copy that feather with my super copier. Now let's go! You can help us solve this case. Harder than I thought. I'm gonna ask for Agent Happy Plum's help. Hello, Agent Happy Plum. 
Agent Fistro not. We're on a tough case, <sighs> and I need your help to figure out these oh. clues. A feather and a pillow. Hmm. If the feather is sleepy, it's a shame oh. it can't sleep. The feather can't sleep. Oh. Well, thanks. I'll see if I can solve the case now. I've just spoken to Happy Plum. So, what'd he say? He said, if the feather is sleepy, it's a shame it can't sleep. Sleepy feather. Wait, I think I got it. Oh, yeah? I didn't. Well, what is it, Marina? We're looking for a bird, but not just any bird. Galloping <laughs> guppies, you're right! We have to find a bird that's having trouble sleeping. That's what the pillow meant. Yes. Come with us. We'll find it together. Hey, Big Whoa. Cow! <laughs> you knocked me over. Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't mean to. It's just that we're distracted looking for a bird that's... <gasps> what bird? A bird that's having trouble sleeping. If you see a tired bird anywhere, please let us know. The owl! Of course! Huh? Oh. Did somebody call me? Yeah, that must be it. The owl is the bird we're looking for? I think so, Zeke. Excuse me, Mrs. Owl, but could you tell us why you're so tired? Who, me? Oh, of course. Well, I was perfectly happy until some men in yellow hats showed up near my nest. The construction workers. They started building something there. The observatory. Every day, really early, exactly when I go to bed, they make a lot of noise and I can't sleep. Galloping guppies, we figured out the clues. The feather belongs to an owl that sleeps during the day. And the pillow means she's having trouble sleeping. Then our mission is to help the owl sleep in peace again. Cool. Then let's talk to Grandpa. He'll help us solve this case. I'm sorry, Mrs. Owl. I didn't know the construction site was causing you so much trouble. You can bet it is. You know what? I understand your situation. Sometimes I call my brother in Japan and I wake him up. Because I forget that when it is day here, it is night there. <laughs> what is it, Zeke? How can it be day in one place and night in another place at the same time? Everybody knows that when the sun wakes up, it shines all over the world, and when it goes to bed, it leaves the whole world in the dark. Can anyone tell Zeke about the Earth and the sun? I'll explain. I loved it when I learned about it in school. Pay attention, Zeke. The planet we live on is called Earth. From our point of view, it looks like the sun goes around the Earth. And it doesn't happen like that? No, Zeke. It's the Earth that revolves around the sun. And the Earth, it spins on its axis, doesn't it, Marina? That's right, Bistronaut. And because it's round and it's always spinning, half of the Earth faces the sun while the other half is in shadow. Oh, so that's how it works. I get it. That's why it's day on one part of the planet and night on the other. Very good, Zeke. Yay, I am the best. Well, Mrs. Owl, Dr. Takeshi and I have some great news for you. I could really use some. Construction on the observatory has only just begun. Right, Dr. Takeshi? Exactly. So we have decided to move it to a place where it won't bother anybody. You mean there won't be any more noise? Yes. And you'll be able to sleep in peace again. <laughs> Yay! I'm so touched. You guys have been so nice to me. I'd like to express my appreciation. <laughs> Poor Mrs. Owl. She was so tired, she couldn't even finish the speech. <laughs> now we're the ones who won't be able to sleep. <laughs> we'll manage, Zeke. Dr. Takeshi and I will take Mrs. Owl back to her home. Huh? Look! A pop! Come on, 
on, guys. Let's repeat the rhythm and open this pop. Once again! Again! We have to open this pop! We did it! Wow! Cool! A map of the stars! Oh! oh. What's that? Oh, come on, tell me! What is it? It's a map that shows the planets in the sky and their names. Cool! Let's go outside tonight. I want to use the map to find planets and stars. Oh. oh, well, what's the name of that star? It's not a star. That's the planet Venus. Well, what about that one? That's Mars. And that one, oh. and that one. What's that oh. planet called again, Marita? Oh. Let me see. Oh, oh, that not... one. Hmm. Oh, I found it. That hmm? planet is called Ooh. Planet of the Babbling Monkey. Really? There's a planet with that name? We, we got, got you! you. <laughs> <laughs>